Stop taking long range fights like this. I'm gonna walk into you, I'm gonna walk into you. One coming back to you, Sam. I got hit. <laughs> One of the most common things I see players struggling with, even among higher ranked players, is whiffing long range shots. Long range shots can sometimes feel like they're impossible to hit because of how small the target is on our screen. But good news for you, in this video, I'll teach you how you can avoid whiffing long range shots and start beaming people across the map. Let's get started. A lot of times, even if the crosshair looks like it's on the target as you're spraying or burst firing, none of your bullets are actually hitting. If we zoom in, what's really happening is that your bullets are going way over their head because you're either not pulling down your mouse enough, you're not resetting your crosshair all the way before you shoot another burst, or you're shooting too fast and not letting the recoil reset. If you saw my in-depth spray control guide, you'll know that the bullets will always start to go up after you shoot your first bullet. Even though the second bullet looks like it doesn't go up that much in closer ranges, when you're burst firing at enemies in longer distances, the gap between the first bullet and the second bullet is drastically bigger. When you're so focused on hitting such a tiny target on your screen, it's easy to forget that you need to be pulling down on your mouse. So the best way to correct this habit is to make sure you're developing the muscle memory to know how much you need to pull down your mouse and to always start pulling down your mouse the moment you start to shoot. If you're going to burst fire, I highly recommend shooting two to three bullets at a time while strafing to make yourself a harder target to hit as you take long range fights. To do this, you want to pull down with your mouse to burst a few bullets, and as you're strafing, you want to move your mouse back to head height so you can start burst firing towards the head again. Now, if you're trying to tap fire instead of burst firing, I really only recommend tap firing if you're going for a really long range fight. And at that point, it'll help to ADS if you're using a Vandal. The Vandal has a 25% increased first shot spread accuracy compared to the Phantom, so ADSing at really long range distances to secure the clean one tap will help a lot. But you just have to be aware that ADSing does make you an easier target to shoot at because it slows down your movement speed. This means it'll be harder to get back into cover if you miss your shot. You'll still be able to land headshots with the Phantom most of the time without having to ADS, but because the Phantom isn't a one-shot headshot on even light armor targets at distances past 30 meters, it's better just to burst fire while controlling your recoil to hit a headshot plus body shot in longer distances. That'll be it for this video, so please subscribe for more Valorant tips, or if you're serious about improving in Valorant, come check out my Discord server to join my coaching program. Link will be in the description below.